Welcome to session 237, get end-to-end -end visibility into your network with Citrix Application Delivery Management. I am Lina Ravaya, and I am joined today by Nika Harit. Thank you very much for coming. The last session of the day, really appreciate it. There are a few hashtags that you can use, so please use them. Citrix Application Delivery Management, ADM, is a new name for mass management and analytics system. Just want to say it up front. So some of you may know it as MASS, so it's just a new name. Yesterday at Keynotes, you heard about future that promises power technologies that enable us to do the best work and puts everything together in one place and serves us what we need, even before we know we need it. And future is today, and today we are going to talk to you how Citrix Application Delivery Management enables you to build very intelligent, the most intelligent ADC infrastructure in the world. So let's start. In the keynotes, we talk about Citrix Analytics and ADM, and more than that, the session that was just before us here was about Citrix Analytics. How are they related? When you go to Citrix Cloud, you can see trial for analytics and then trial for application delivery management, which is which? Analytics are workspace analytics, and for networking analytics, you use application delivery management. And that is today, but future is we move everything together in one place. So when do you use which one? Citrix Analytics cover three main use cases for workspace around security, operations, and what was announced at Synergy, performance and it covers all workspace additions, right? For networking, that is Citrix ADM that covers use cases and analytics for ADC, new name for Netscaler, if you don't know, including hybrid multi-cloud use cases, including Kubernetes use cases. It covers all use cases for application security, end-to-end -end security with Citrix ADC. Nika, why do we do what we do? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> so why are we doing what we're doing? Why are we standing here presenting you about a product called ADM? We are building a solution for you to help you focus on the key business value that you're adding to your company by working in a company and contributing to its success. So the idea is we want to make your life easier by giving you a solution which will help you achieve high app availability, best application performance, and autonomous ADC infra solution. So when I say ADC infrastructure is autonomous, that means that we will understand what's going on with our product. If you have misconfigured anything, if you have changed anything which should not be done, we will know. We'll give you the right recommendations and make you tune it and automate it for you to be able to have an autonomous solution, which is an end-to-end -end complete solution for you to identify what's going on, and then fix it right away so that it becomes a complete solution. By providing all of these three aspects, the idea is to make your life easier because we will give you a complete solution which is smart and intuitive in itself to give you the right information up front. So we give you an intuitive analytic solution suite which understands its own events, triggers, and application infra information 
to give you end-to-end -end solution. It's a solution which will be smart for you, for us to be able to bring out the right information at the right time and help you take the right actions. It'll give you a connected view because when a client uh, starts a request, it goes through ADC and processed by an application server will give you a connected view as to if anyone is facing slowness, where the problem is. We will connect the dots and give you the information if a misconfiguration is the problem of the complete slowness or is it the back and app server which is problematic. Within a single view and couple of clicks, you will be able to identify what's going on and resolve it. And at the end of the day, if you know what's going wrong, we want to ensure that it's actionable. You're able to take action with the information we are providing to you. So these, with the, these three tenets of smart, connected, and actionable, we give you an intuitive analytics solution suite which helps you achieve your goal faster. Now, what do we have part of the solution suite. The first feature is intelligent analytics, wherein we take up indicators from our solution and give you insights into what's really happening using machine learning and rule-based methods. Web transaction analytics gives you an end-to-end -end information of every single transaction, gives you a visual way for you to understand what's going on at every leg of the network, client side, ADC infra, as well as your network and applications. Infrastructure analytics quantifies all the aspects together over a scoring for ADC infra across configuration anomalies, network issues, hardware issues, any critical event that you need to take a note of, we will bring that information and quantify it over infrastructure analytics. Global Service Graphs gives you an end-to-end -end view wherein you will be able to see where the problems are. And we'll talk more about it in specific segments. Cloud Native Analytics will give you uh, the visibility to the granular level of application dependency of which particular microservice is problematic in its acting role, which you need to look into. And the last but not the least is the bot management analytics, which gives you eyes into what kind of attacks are coming in, which our bot management solution is identifying and blocking, and how the pattern is changing. So giving you the visibility into that information up front is what bot management analytics will put on the table. Now, ADC manages and optimizes multiple kinds of applications, virtual apps, 3D web apps, and cloud native, Kubernetes apps. When we take all the information it collects, it understands, we give you uh, and it sends to our uh, Citrix Analytics for networking, which is a, a combined solution with ADM and CAS together, we are able to solve use cases for multiple personas. So we have solution for application admin and SREs, which are site reliability engineers. The features that I talked about as the solution suite, web transaction analytics, cloud native analytics, helping specific of these roles, use cases, so that they can achieve their goal faster. IT ops, infrastructure analytics is the solution for you to resolve and identify what's going on in few clicks. For SecOps and security admins, spot management analytics, and across all the three roles, global service craft and intelligent analytics will help you resolve conflicts or finger pointing. So whenever an issue happened, the issues get circled up across security admin, application admin, network admin. It will reduce down the finger pointing and identify where the problem is and who needs to look into it. This is the agenda for the session today, wherein we go through all the aspects of the intuitive analytics suite. 
and uh, we'll let you know how our on-prem solution of ADM is able to uh, bring up uh, what is the largest scale that we can support, uh, why ADM service, how ADM service, uh, what ADM service bring to the table, and a couple of announcements and key takeaways towards the end. Now I will hand it over to Lena and take you through web transaction analytics. Thank you. <clears throat> How many of you use ADM today or mass? Wow. And how many of you use analytics today on ADM? OK. Hope what we're talking about and those analytics will help you to use analytics more. So web transaction analytics are <clears throat> analytics for web traffic. So why do we need detailed web transaction analytics? Why did we come up with that solution? Because you ask us to. A lot of customer requirements came for more detailed logging for troubleshooting to have complete connection visibility and to end visibility into your transactions. Also, to be able to search your logs the way you want to search it in any compound searches and have custom dashboard based on application owner to be able to see only your logs for your application with application score in it. So we took everything in consideration and built that feature for you. What use cases can we solve with detailed web transaction logging? It can help you with a lot of troubleshooting. For example, you should be able to understand handshake failure on SSL. Why did it happen? When did it happen? What are parameters? With forensic department, when you need to send full logs, you would be able to do so. For example, another use case with slow server, you can understand why, where, which exactly backend server latency happens and we also will provide actionable analytics. What do you need to do? What's next? How can we help you to be intelligent? And many, many more use cases. So let's take a look at it. So you can see search panel. You can see all transaction collection rate, all in one. Now, end-to-end -end latency measurement. You can see everything on one screen, all together. Right? You can see from client to Citrix ADC to server with all measurements here. If you want to see page load and rendering, you can see it, or perhaps SSL. With all details that you need to do, and you can easily see what failed and why. Make sense? No? Yes? Maybe? Who knows? OK. <laughs> Next one, infrastructure analytics. Have you heard about infrastructure analytics? Some of you? OK, we'll talk about it. And by the way, web transaction analytics already available in 13.0 as well as infrastructure analytics. So as we talk about it, it's not future. It's what you have today. You can try out today. Infrastructure analytics, it's all about infrastructure, right? Now, why do we need it? Why did we put it together? Before we have it, right? There are a lot of screens that tells you what's happening with your infrastructure. We have all the information. It's just across number of screens, different dashboard, SSL dashboard, right? Configuration, events, reports, network functions, right? Many screens. 
a lot of context switching from one to another. And even for small deployment, when you have just five Citrix ADC, you have number of events, right? Logs, thousands of syslog events, reports that you have to go over. Why do you need to go over? Just to understand your resources, just to understand your capacity, just to understand where config change happening. And why do we need it? Because every downtime with Citrix ADC is your application downtime, right? An application downtime, it's a business impact. So we put everything in one place for you with infrastructure analytics. So what will it provide when we put it in one place? Faster resolution, you don't have to go over multiple screens, right? And also it correlates multiple data sources all together. And you can see patterns of events. Also, as we have application score, now you can see instance score. And even better, it links infrastructure analytics to application analytics. You can troubleshoot and understand if something wrong with that infrastructure, what applications are affected and how. And analytics are actionable. What action do I need to take to fix it, right? And customizable. So again, you can have your own dashboard where you see what you want to see. Now, if you can look here, right, how to provide those benefits. You can see all those indicators that come together and allow us to create instant score. Goes across system resources, config, availability. All together comes into picture, all in one. Now, how does it look like? If you look at hybrid multi-cloud infrastructure analytics, as we call it, what do you see? Every circle is Citrix ADC. And in a similar way as application dashboard, color tells you how healthy is your infrastructure, right? Now, you can group your infrastructure in different way, in this case by data centers, right? For example, Singapore one has six ADC instances, you can clearly see what's wrong with your ADC. Like the red one is at 95% of capacity now, and green one is all good. Right? You can see the ones where SSL certificates expired, and you can do it very easily when you click around at what issue you want to see and it highlights those instances that give you that problem. Now, how is it packaged? You know that analytics are not totally free. So how do we package infra analytics? What do you think? It is free for you. Good? No? Not happy? We should charge? <laughs> but we can do better. That's what we have today, but we want to make it more intelligent, right? We want to add a lot of indicators on networking capacity. So don't you want to see if that IP um, addresses conflict or something wrong with GSLB and analytics can point you to, or your VLAN configurations that what available with intelligent analytics, and Nika will talk about it. Thank you. So, um, there are six features which are part of our intuitive analytics suite. And we have talked about how many till now? Quick raise of hands, how many till now? You can speak loud, I'm not gonna do anything. How many? Two? Okay, 
And keep a count, I'll ask again. <laughs> okay, so another point to note here, uh, I'm going to mention, uh, we mentioned about this infra analytics available for free. Everybody loves free, yes, no? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna tell another thing which is going to be available for free almost towards the end. So take a note of that. Let's go with intelligent analytics. Intelligent analytics is a solution which will be based uh, on two methods, machine learning and rule-based analytics. Using machine learning, the first use case that we are going to launch uh, and make available for everyone to use is to identify anomalies for server response time. Now, uh, we're using uh, the algorithms which have been refined uh, to match the industry standards. They are validated with the right customer data. And they're tuned to identify the anomaly more precisely. When we uh, detect an anomaly, what we do is to identify whenever there is a gradual increase, uh, which is not a spike. So to be able to identify anomalies more accurately, uh, the idea is to be able to identify the gradual increases in response time more um, appropriately and accurately with the contextual data that we collect for the metrics. And if the response time is high consistently to be able to identify more appropriately, uh, then avoiding the false positive of the baseline changing completely. So whenever that consistently high happens, you will be able to see that one of the app server is not performing well. Out of the big farm you have, there are two, these two which are not performing optimally. It becomes very difficult when you have to go to manually identify which is the backend app server which is performing uh, inappropriately and you have to go through multiple instances and in environment to really identify which is the server. And the last is, we discard the spikes that happen. They are there in the system uh, based on load and multiple factors and identify uh, the anomalies more accurately. So uh, with the machine learning based server anomaly, server response time anomaly identification, we will be able to identify anomalous specific app servers which you need to take a note of and troubleshoot more seamlessly. The next use case we have on the table is auto scale based on predictive analytics. So if your ADC capacity is gonna increase uh, over a time, we have an auto scale solution which scales uh, in a way that you don't have to worry about your licensing, your configuration, anything at all. We will identify a threshold based on that, increase your capacity of ADC without you having to manually intervene to deploy license and do all the operations that you need to do. We'll do it automatically, bring it up, and bring it down when it's in the right resource consumption. So that's a true autonomous solution, wherein we identify that the capacity is going to increase and take an action and manage your infra for you, without you having to worry about it. So that's, that's the next use case we will be solving with the machine learning solution. The next is the rule-based analytics. So we are understanding multiple indicators together to be able to add meaning to the data. The autonomous ADC infra, the use case that I mentioned, is one of the key use cases that we have wherein we identify config anomalies and multiple factors and provide you the actions you can take and automate them. So the performance indicators, uh, there are two aspects to it. We collect ADC and app specific indicators and then link it and quantify it over scores. So anything that's happening bad and anomalous in your ADC infra, we will quantify it over instance score. And anything related to application, we quantify over application score. Once we do that, you will be able to see 
if you go to your infra dashboard and see one red highlight of an instance, we will tell you exactly what's going on. With this solution, we will be able to auto heal by proactively troubleshooting the infrastructure, giving the right information up front, identifying capacity breach indications. There are certain system level events which can indicate the capacity is going to breach soon. You, you might want to change your configuration or port allocation, uh, add another SNP because your uh, port allocation uh, exhaustion is breaching or uh, breaching near. So there are multiple of these indicators that we understand and bring it up front. Tune your configuration um, wherever we think it's not complying uh, and there are issues in your configuration. Detect um, the parameters which might be impacting your application performance. And um, identify probable security threats, uh, which is difficult to see the events which happen in the system and might get missed. Now, this is uh, a demo of how intelligent analytics will help you solve um, your key use cases faster. So this is infrastructure analytics, wherein uh, I see there's a SSL capacity issue. One ADC uh, is highlighted. I uh, select the number of e-servers to see the application impact. There are two applications which are performing low. There are, you can see the app score is very low, 30 and 29. There are server delay and server error issues. As an admin, I go back and I fix the SSL capacity issue. Uh, after fixing that, when I go back to my application dashboard, I see that one of the application has gone better. The capacity issue is not there. And you see this one application is still performing low. There are server delay and server issues. When I drill down further, I see the app score is low for app two. I see the uh, variation of the app score that's happening. I identify that there are penalty scores uh, uh, that are coming up for performance and failure error events. Five and four issues have been identified. All services are up, so there are no issues on state availability. Um, I see that server delay anomalies have been identified. I can see uh, what server delay really means. We give more prescriptive information. What happened, uh, 3.1 has been highlighted uh, explicitly. There are two issues and two occurrences. We give the recommended actions uh, as well for you to uh, Take the right actions right there and then, executing right LV algorithm, tune your app server. And at the bottom, we give you the right anomaly information as to when the issue happened. You can see here clearly that these are the two occurrences of the anomalies that happened, and which are the other apps uh, which are performing similarly low. So this is how simple it becomes. We highlight the information up front, link everything together from infra to application for you to take the action up front. Now, uh, we go to uh, the feature four of the suite is Cloud Native Analytics. Cloud Native Analytics is the solution for you to understand all the dependencies which is there in a complex environment that we build with Cloud Native architecture. There are three, three aspects that we solve with Cloud Native Analytics. We identify which are the faulty micro or microservices uh, seamlessly to identify the one small application part of the big infra which is acting rogue. Then we identify, uh, bring out what are the factors contributing to it and specifically give you the information for you to drill down further what are the transactions impacted. Let's see uh, what, which feature really uh, helps to solve all these three aspects. First is that we provide um, the visibility into your individual services, decompose your application uh, into that specific uh, spread of services it has. Highlight the dependency of each services, how many services are interacting with each other very clearly, and understand the data flow. So when you hover around on those instance or uh, those service graphs, you will be able to see how the data flow is happening very clearly. 
and then identify the bottleneck by the scoring concept. So every single service will be quantified over its performance and issues and errors occur. If any application uh, service is or microservice is acting rogue and there are too many errors, we will highlight it in thread. So visually, you will be able to see it very clearly. This is how the service graph looks, wherein uh, the circle represents the uh, K8 uh, service. The color represents the service core. The size represents, uh, is represented by the node uh, connections, how many connections it is getting. The edge, uh, the transactions between the two services. And the color represents if there are how many errors are there. So this is how simple it becomes for you to understand what's going on. Going to the fifth feature of global service graph. In a global service graph view, we give you a way for you to understand where the problems are. You can see here clearly, can anyone tell me uh, where the problem is highlighted here? Is it at the application server? Is it at the infrastructure? And where, uh, it's, what do you think? Is it the infrastructure or the network? The network. And uh, what is getting impacted? The users? So uh, clearly bringing out here that the users are getting impacted because of the network problem on the client side. Now, uh, whenever any ADC level inf uh, problems are there, then we bring it out at the ADC infra that ADC is problematic here. And there are some issues which are happening which you need to take a note of. And the last is, whenever the application issues are there, we bring it up, up front. So this is how in a connected view, you will be able to see where the problems are up front for you to having to go to multiple owners or multiple touch points to identify where the problems exist. So this is a, a demo uh, wherein there's a connectivity issue between two sites identified. Uh, the admin gets a notification, he goes to infra analytics, clicks on the map flap issue, identifies two ADCs are problematic. When he clicks to see global service graph view, issue one is US users are redirected to APJ. And there's a GSLB map flap issues which is highlighted. So th that was issue one. Issue two is that the service is performing bad and is highlighted as red. When I click down further, when I and view the transaction details, one particular server comes out up front having high server response time. So this is how simple it becomes for you to be able to link everything together and get one simple view mm -hmm. to resolve and have a faster root cause analysis. I will now hand it over to Lena. Thank you. And the last one, but not the least one, <clears throat> bot management, security. We all want seamless experience with enterprise grade security and unlimited choices. And Citrix ADC provides end-to-end -end application security across all networking layers, right? And recently, ICSA Labs certified us for network firewalls across all editions, VPX, CPX, MPX, SDX. For SSL, we were first to go GA with TLS 1.3, and with one click, you can get A plus on Qualys SSL Labs. Web application firewall, we are the best price per performance by NSS Labs testing. And the newest one is behavior-based bot management that protects you from password spraying, credentials, credential stealing, site scraping altogether. Today is about 35% of web traffic is bot traffic. So why protection is important? One aspect is security, and second aspect is 
when we protect, when we stop bots, we free up your resources in the back end. You can have better performance for your application, better uh, resources, right? Better management, better operability. So let's take, let's take a look. How does it work? Dog Greens is online pharmacy that end users click to order uh, to refill prescriptions, right? So when normal uh, users order, they log in, they fill in the order, right, as you can see. But recently, pharmacies start seeing a lot of fraudulent orders. And looking inside, it's all about password spraying with some attempts are successful. Looking at application load, you can see it spiked when bot management, bot started, right? Now with, with one click on, web, on Citrix ADC, right? Adding bot management protection, one click, you can protect your applications. You can see that application rate goes back to normal. And when you look at the logs, it, all attempts are blocked by Citrix ADC. Do you like it? Make sense? Large-scale deployment. We want to verify for you how can you scale ADM. And we did a lot of reference architecture testing internally. For HA deployment of ADM with number of agents, and what can you see? We validated 4,000 Citrix ADC instances, 100,000 vServers, 100,000 requests per second for web insight, 100,000 users for HDX Insight, Gateway Insight. Good? Works for you? Good. <laughs> so that was on-prem. Nika, why would I want to use ADM service? Let's figure out. So um, ADM service is the solution which gives you a true control plane. So when I say that, it um, gives you a way for you to have a centralized control across a distributed deployment, be it across public cloud, private cloud, on-prem, this is the solution for you. It gives you central control with a secure access across your de uh, distributed deployment, and that's the key, key advantage of the solution. With that, you get a central visibility across the complete app, farm, and infra infrastructure you have under one single view. One of the very key points here is, for an EDM service, why you should consider? It reduces your infrastructure and management level uh, and expertise that you need uh, to manage a traditional deployment. And there is no maintenance. Now, that means no upgrades, no DR management, no uh, system prune management, HA management, nothing. You deploy it once, and after that, even that agent upgrade that you have to deploy for a secure connection, that upgrade is, also, upgrade is also taken up by us. So it becomes very, very seamless. You don't have to worry about all of the operations which you, which you typically do for a traditional on-prem deployment. That is one of the key reasons that we have a lot of our customers moving into service to have a true HMC control plane. Now, the second point of premium. So we are launching and announcing right now a premium tier for ADM service, which we have had a similar one for on-prem with all the features of management monitoring that we have. License pool, all of that on service, you can use it for free completely, no restrictions for eternity. And the analytics, config job and style book 
will be available for only two units. So when I say analytics, two units will be two virtual servers and for config job and style books will be two config parks and two config jobs. You can use this premium without any restrictions on uh, when it'll expire. So do you like this? Yes? Thank you so much. Okay, so now a couple of key announcements. Uh, before I go there, quick um, poll. How many features did we talk about? And louder, please. Six? Okay, good. Who will tell me which ones? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Global Service Graph and Cloud Native Analytics. Good stuff. So come so, and get your shirt. Thank you for working with us. <laughs> okay, so a couple of key announcements. So web transaction analytics and infra analytics is uh, already out and available today. The first two features that we talked about. And the rest is going to be available in this year in the second half um, of intelligent analytics, global service graph, cloud native analytics, and bot management analytics. The last one is premium, is also going to be available in second half. So a quick recap and conclusion. So we announced our intuitive analytics solution suite, which helps you uh, and makes your life easier with a smart, connected, and actionable solution. As we summarized earlier, we have six features that we've talked about. Web transaction analytics, infra analytics, intelligent analytics, global service graph, cloud native analytics, and bot management analytics. All of this done within this last two quarters. For IT ops, app admins, SRE, and security admins or SecOps, for all the roles that you have in your organization to use the solutions that we introduced. These are the uh, few sessions uh, that we have for networking. Do take a note, we do have a repeat tomorrow as well for this session. Uh, you can provide feedback um, on uh, the app. Read the session um, on the app itself. Any questions? Thank you so much for your time, everyone. Come on.